In this video, I'll explain how Google has managed to dethrone OpenAI as the leader in AI innovation. It all began a few days ago when Google unveiled their flagship model, V2. This generative text-to-video model has redefined the industry by outperforming all existing video model offerings. What makes this model revolutionary is its ability to generate videos without hallucinations. It handles complex aspects like physics and details such as hair movement with remarkable accuracy. Everything just works seamlessly, a significant leap forward for video generation technology. This marks the first time we've seen Google showcase such groundbreaking advancements in its core AI offerings. It's been a wake-up call for the entire AI industry, as many believed Google was lagging behind. However, with the release of V2, Google has demonstrated that they are not just keeping up, they've taken a leading position. The most astonishing part? This breakthrough comes just a short time after many assumed they were falling behind. OpenAI has officially released Sora, and a well-known figure in the tech industry, Marcus Brownlee, has shared his thoughts on it. Marques, a prominent tech reviewer, recently discussed Sora in a video. On December 9th, he confirmed that the rumors were true. Sora, OpenAI's video generation tool, is now available to the public. The software has generated significant buzz, with excitement building around its potential. Just five to six days later, on December 16th, we received another tweet from the same influencer. This time, they shared that Google's new video generation model, VO2, had been announced. According to them, if the hand-picked examples are genuine, they outperform anything they've seen from Sora. Imagine having one of the most respected tech reviewers praise your product as being better than anything they've encountered. And that wasn't all. Within the same week, OpenAI also launched their video generator, marking yet another impressive milestone in the tech world. Some of the demonstrations of this software were absolutely remarkable. We observed how one system managed to slice tomatoes with impressive consistency. On the other hand, Sora showed several errors during its demonstration. This wasn't an isolated incident. Unfortunately, Sora's mistakes were evident across multiple examples shared on Twitter. The overall sentiment suggested that VO2 had outperformed Sora in nearly every metric. For instance, the Venture Twins highlighted a clear comparison. In a scenario where someone was running over hurdles, Sora failed to provide an accurate result. However, Google's VO2 demonstrated exceptional precision, delivering a result that appeared highly accurate in every aspect. Not only did V2 manage to surprise everyone, but the incredible image capabilities also left a lasting impression. If you're not familiar, this refers to another part of Google's offering, essentially their advanced image model. Currently, it's the most advanced and high-quality text-to-image model available. When looking at the benchmarks, it's clear that Imagine 3 stands out as the leader. If you compare it to other image generators, of which we've seen so many in a short span of time, Imagine 3 tops the leaderboard with the highest ELO rating. This means there's currently no better image generation model available. This achievement is particularly impressive when you consider competitors like Midjourney, D-A-L-L-E-3, Stable Diffusion, and Flux 1.1. Truly incredible work from Google. Recently, Google introduced more than just advancements in image generation. They unveiled the Gemini XP 1206, a model that may pave the way for the Gemini 2. Over the past two to three weeks, this model has consistently ranked as the number one choice on Chatbot Arena. In blind tests where users compare two models side by side, Gemini XP 1206 has been the top pick in most cases. This marks a significant milestone, as it means OpenAI has been dethroned as the leader, along with Claude, which many users relied on for various applications. When examined without brand bias, purely based on the output quality, Gemini clearly outperforms its competitors and dominates the leaderboards. Moreover, Google's Gemini Flash also stands out, ranking just below Gemini XP12, 06, and surpassing models like O1 Preview and O1 Mini. In essence, Google has managed to achieve a remarkable feat, not just excelling in video and image generation, but also taking the lead in text generation. In the realm of large language models, particularly regarding their vision capabilities, we can observe impressive advancements. Gemini Flash, 
along with the other Gemini experience models, has excelled in the vision domain. These models have not only outperformed Claude, but have also surpassed anything currently offered by ChatGPT. This achievement is truly remarkable, especially considering my initial expectation that Claude would maintain its dominance in the vision space. At, it wasn't just about the vision capabilities, as I mentioned earlier. It also focused on lightweight models. Among the lightweight models available, Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental truly stands out. When we examine the benchmarks, it's clear how impressive this model is. While it hasn't been directly compared to other models yet, its predecessor, Gemini 1.5 Flash, was already remarkable. Now, with Gemini 2.0 Flash surpassing even the capabilities of Gemini 1.5 Pro, it's evident that this model is a game changer. Gemini 2.0 Flash outperforms nearly everything else, and considering its ranking, sitting comfortably in the top two-thirds, it's no surprise that it's setting new standards. It wasn't just about having a really impressive LLM. Google also went all in with their new AI agent demo project, Astra. If you're not familiar with it, Astra is essentially their attempt to lead the AI space. It's not just about competing with OpenAI, but positioning themselves as the top player in AI, especially with the highly anticipated AI Assistant. This AI Assistant uses Gemini 2.0 to reason about the world in real time, helping users with various tasks. It's an advanced assistant that essentially allows you to do superhuman things. You can use its camera to navigate your surroundings, access maps, and get information on anything you need. It's not physically interactive, but its vast database and internet-connected features allow it to provide comprehensive answers. The potential for how people will use this in the future is truly remarkable especially considering Google's deep integration with its products. This agent can use multimodal reasoning to complete tasks, and it's really impressive how much it can do. But it doesn't stop there. Google also made significant strides with physical devices. They've just announced their new Android XR platform, an operating system designed specifically for XR devices, including augmented reality AR, virtual reality VR, and mixed reality MR. This is truly groundbreaking because it integrates Gemini AI directly into the glasses, which will enable seamless AI experiences in everyday life. With this integration, you'll be able to work within the Google ecosystem, as the platform is expected to connect seamlessly with all of Google's apps. Another exciting development is that Google has opened the platform for Android developers to start building on. We know how creative developers can be, so it's exciting to think about the kinds of innovative experiences that will emerge from this. I personally can't wait to see what the future holds on this platform, as it seems poised to define the future of AI. As someone who has used AI wearable products like the Meta Glasses, though they lack the full AI functionality, I'm excited about the possibilities this could unlock. And as I mentioned earlier, Google isn't just focusing on physical products. They've taken things up another notch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on the latest in AI and technology. See you in the next pardon.